Welcome back, my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this letter portrait using Canva. Now, before we continue, if you learned anything in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so that you know when new tutorials come out. And if you have any special requests, place them in the comments. I'd love to see them. Now let's get down to business. All right, so I am starting off with a YouTube thumbnail size. Obviously, you're going to go ahead and choose the size that's right for your project. And I'm going to go over to the elements section and in the search bar, I'm going to search for an R. Now, when I search for an R, I'm going to get a whole bunch of different graphics and elements, but I'm looking for a frame. If you don't see the frame that you like, in the front panel here, you can always press see all and see all the different R's, R frames that are available. I'm going to choose this frame right here for my design. And I'm now going to place an image inside of my frame or I'm going to choose an image. So I'm going to come over to my elements again and I'm going to search for side profile. And just make sure that you are in photos. And I'm going to use this photo right here. Now I'm going to take a copy of this photo and I'm just going to move it right over here on my right. And I'm going to take this photo and just pop it or slide it right inside my frame. Now, I want the face to be popping out on the left side. So I'm going to double click this frame and I'm going to move the image over and I'm just going to resize it slightly. And what I want to do is just make sure that the face is popping out of the uh, frame, but I don't want it to pop out that it's popping out on top or on the bottom. That's my preference. You can do this however you like. So I'm just going to make it just slightly bigger and just reposition it. And I'll just place my cursor on the side and press the white space to kind of set that in. Now you'll remember that I had the other image right here on my right side and I'm going to remove the background from this image. Now, if you don't see background remover in here, just select the edit button and that will open up your panel on the left. And here is BG remover. Now, if you don't have BG remover, you can also try and download this image and use an app called remove BG. But I'm going to come along to BG remover and I'm going to remove that background. I'm going to grab that image and I'm going to try and try not to place your cursor inside of the frame because that will just slide that image in the frame and we don't want that. Instead, just grab it by the bottom and just try and um, move it so that it overlaps the image that you have inside of the frame. Now this might take you a couple of tries, but if you try and follow the outline, you should be able to do it. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to crop the image on the sides like this. And I'm actually going to crop it a little bit more so that the chin is coming out and the um, R is more defined. Now we can take this one step further. And if you like it the way it is right now, you can most definitely keep it the way it is. I'm just going to center it. Now let's do one more thing. Let's grab that R and let's come back up to the top and let's add a border. Now, if you like this design the way it is, that's perfect. You can download it and use it, but I'm going to take this one step further. So I'm going to come on over to share and I'm going to download this design. 
I'm going to download it as transparent. I'll create a new page while I'm waiting. And once it's downloaded, I'll grab that design and I'll bring it right onto my workspace. Now let's do one more thing. I'm going to add a glow to this design. So let me just make that a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to go on over to edit and I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to add a glow. So here it is right here. And once you've selected the glow, you have the option to toggle size, blur and intensity. I'm going to leave it the way it is right here. And so this is my final design. And that's about it. If you learned anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe so that you know when new tutorials come out. And if you want to learn more about Canva and get some personal feedback, join my YouTube channel membership where I have a private group. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time.